In this September 2020, I bought this、uh, Razer EcoSmart electric bike for $420、uh, on Amazon, and the bike originally came with three lead acid battery, each 12 volt and seven amp power. They were actually of pretty decent quality. A little more than two years later, I upgraded to these 10 amp power lead acid batteries. That I bought from Amazon for eighty three dollars. So I had to modify the wiring a little bit because I placed the battery this time differently to accommodate the bigger size of the new batteries. And in the process of installing them, I accidentally connected the battery to the motor controller in the wrong polarity, and blew up the motor controller, which then costed me another thirty four dollar to replace. These ten amp hour battery lasted no more than the original seven amp hour ones, and after a little less than two years, the range of the bike on the full charge went down to only about two or three miles. And this time, I decided to upgrade to lithium iron phosphate batteries on Amazon. A seven amp hour, twelve volt lead acid battery would cost nineteen dollars. The equivalent lithium iron phosphate battery. That I bought costed twenty eight dollars, but the lead acid battery weighs four point five pounds, whereas my lithium battery weighs one point nine pounds, or about forty percent the weight of the lead acid battery, and should theoretically give you more range and a better lifetime. I was also able to find a charger that's compatible with the charging port that the bike came with. I learned that unlike lead acid battery, the nominal voltage of lithium iron phosphate cells is 3.2 volts per cell, but their full charge voltage is 3.65 volts per cell. So for a 36 volt battery, which consists of 12 cells, the full charge voltage is around 43.8 volts, and that is why you need a charger that can charge at 43.8 volts. So I'm installing these、uh, lithium iron phosphate batteries. Previously, I'm I was using these、uh, lead acid batteries.、Uh, they're they're pretty heavy. Like I think one of these is like six pounds.、Uh, I had three of these like in there, and I like this, and then I took them took them out and put in these、uh, lithium iron phosphate batteries. Actually, these are 12 volt, 7 amp,、uh, with a 15 amp BMS. So what I did was,、uh, so these actually are the、uh, things that went on top to secure the batteries in place once you close the lid. And I actually was able to reuse these.、Uh, so this is, so basically, this went on top of it like this. But because、um, I, I I modified the wiring, like this battery over here was supposed to go in with the、uh, with the with the terminals on this side, but because I modified the wiring, I wasn't able to put it in like that. So when I put this thing in, if I were to put this on top, it wouldn't fit. I w- I, w- I wouldn't be able to close the lid. Okay, so I'm ready to put in the lid, and、uh, should be able to close it. So this is how the bike looks like after almost five years of use, and definitely seen some use. I replaced the rear wheel assembly two months ago because the inner tube kept getting punctured. I thought it was because something wrong with the tire or the rim, but other than that and the seat. Everything else was original. It was. It has had the lithium iron phosphate battery in it for six months now.、So、let's go ride it and see how it does with the new batteries. This is a speed test I did、uh, going down a, a kind of a slight downhill, and you can see that it achieved a top speed of 14.7 miles per hour. And I did it in like the middle of the the range test after the bike has been running for almost five miles in. You can see here.、Uh, I went on my way back. I did another speed test on on the same stretch of road, but this time in the opposite direction. So now it's going up a slight incline, 
and you can see that it, it still achieves a top speed of a fourteen point six miles per hour. So it's pretty consistent. Okay, so I think it's officially dead. So so this this just happened like all of a sudden, like you know, this power just got cut off without warning, and the switch is on. So, but there's no power. So I guess the battery just completely dead at this point. Yeah, so before it did, before this happened, it was actually going at a pretty good speed. Like I would say 10 miles per hour up this decently steep incline. Um, but at this point, it's just dead. So before the battery went dead, I was able to squeeze about 7.24 miles out of it. And it was actually going at a very consistent very consistently good speed till the very end like i would say like probably like over 10 miles per hour from for most of the trip and it wasn't like with lead acid where you get slower and slower and slower until it was barely moving i guess that's just the difference between lead acid battery and lithium iron phosphate with lithium iron phosphate the battery just got cut off right when you were when you were still able to go decently fast it was pretty chilly today and just a decent amount of weight on a bike as well. I would say it did pretty well for the upgrade. It only cost like $100 and took less than a day to do.